Hi everyone, this is Phil from Gaming, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Chemistry Station in 7 Days to Die Alpha 15. Alpha 15 just dropped, and with it came the Chemistry Station, a brand new crafting station that in and of itself is fairly easy to make. All you'll need is a couple of beakers, a burning barrel, a cooking pot, some short iron pipes, and some wood. Now, of course, the burning barrel is sort of a new thing, which isn't actually that hard to manufacture. What you can see here, all you need to make it is a couple of forged iron, and again, some additional wood. Crafting the station is fairly easy, but unlocking the skill for it is a bit of a pain in the butt. What you're going to need is 15 points to unlock the skill, but you will also require 50 points in construction and 15 points in science. Now, science points are gained by crafting things like first aid kits and, and alcohol and things like that. So just go ahead and brew to your heart's content until you too can unlock and craft the chemistry station. So, how does the chemistry station itself work? Well, it's fairly straightforward, just like any crafting station. On the left side, you're going to have all of the different craftables that you can use. To actually run it, you just put some fuel, in this case wood, into the fuel slot. In order to craft something in the chemistry station, you simply select it on the left side, and you will see there's a little mix button. You press the mix button, and in this case, the gunpowder that I made happened to be made twice as fast as it normally would be. And that's one of the main advantages to the chemistry station. Here, for example, in the workbench, you'll see there are two recipes for gunpowder. Now, one of them has a little science icon beside it. That's the recipe you will find in the chemistry station, and you'll see it actually takes half the number of resources as it does to make the same thing in the workbench. It takes twice as much and twice as long. Not only is it more efficient, but it also unlocks some additional recipes that can only be made in the chemistry station. This is a must-have item for late-game survivors. If you found this video useful, please feel free to leave a like or a comment, or better yet, subscribe to the channel. And as always, have fun out there.